Bonjour. Hello. Oh, wow. This is not an alarm clock. This is the Web3. I want to thank the Web3 for awaking everyone up. Usually, I finish my presentations by thanking the person. Uh, today, I'm so emotional that I really need to thank you all now, immediately. Why? Because you figured out that kind of a renaissance is happening, like if the speed of the processes had replaced the Gutenberg press. Personally, I feel it like, like uh, sorry. Personally, I feel it as a revelation. And I think that together today, we have to answer one question, and this question is this, what do we want tomorrow's world to look like? A few years ago, I mean many years ago, I killed the artist to become a designer and to earn my life and to become a businesswoman. And then when I was talking about the revelation, I think that many people in this room feel the same. But let me introduce myself. I had the chance to be born in a family very much involved into arts. My grandparents were painters, Hungarian on one side, German on the other one. And when I began my studies, uh, studying um, applied arts, I discovered that work didn't sound like a daily job, but a real passion. So I didn't count my hours when I began to work in a design agency. These sushi, these sushis represent the night and evening I spent at the office. But it didn't lead where I wanted to go, so I thought I could have my own company. So in 2003, I, I, I created uh, 17 Mars, which was at the beginning a studio and which is now a brand design agency. And as in 2022, I still don't count my hours, I created 1703, which is a hub that connects artists to brands. So basically, when we work for brands, when we imagine an identity or we deploy a graphic system, we do it in motion, in movement. We do it for every screens, for every needs, and uh, with meanings. And um, our favorite language is motion design, so when we, when we work, it looks like this. When, as designers, when we have to, to work, well, we give some answers. We are very excited to give some functional answers, to, to have some, some creative responses. But now, with the revolution of Web3, the questions are countless and the questions are new. So, I think the brand must understand that now, the time has come to merge the designer's eye with the the designer expertise with the eye of the artist. Why? Because the artist, it's cap his capacity to be super innovative, to be provocative, um, helps us uh, question the society. And our society, more than ever today, have to, has to question its humanity. The artist um, put light on our emotions. The artist um, stimulates our critical thinking. And the NFT phenomenon is, um, is a spotlight that, uh, uh, that allows the artist to have um, a status, uh, a recognized status and a responsible uh, action. Because the dissemination of his work, the, the better remuneration, the better remuneration um, is a fantastic um, opportunity for him. So 
The point is that with the, um, the, the arrival of, of uh, artificial intelligence, our process of creativity is questioned too. So, well, there are many new questions, and th this is for this reason that I created 1703. So, at the beginning, I was wondering what this offer means. What can we, can we, can we give more? And, and one thing was certain, I wanted to to keep um, a collective uh, vision. So this animation represents a little bit of that because with my team, we all came with a different image. And yes, uh, some uh, of us uh, revealed themselves. As you can see, uh, we don't think exactly the same way. But well, we had a, a, a vision that we have in common, is that we really want to, to, to take the time uh, that technology saves us by doing one thing, by being involved in ambitious artistic projects with concrete answers. So, some of us came with technical answers. For example, we are developing our proper tools, a plugin that can help us to um, develop and accelerate uh, NFT collection by exporting from uh, the software uh, C4D some 3D animations with the control of the rarity of the pieces. So, as we needed a guinea pig, well, we created one. <laughs> to be continued. Um, some others came with experiential um, responses by diving into the metaverse, so we created some virtual spaces. Uh, virtual spaces that can host uh, exhibition in uh, the future metaverse or shooting in real life. And as we had also to experiment, well, we tried to, to build a partnership and we managed to do this with uh, PRG, which is uh, one of the largest studio, uh, LED screen studios in Europe, and we made it. Okay, some, finally some others uh, come with um, creative responses by trying to tame artificial intelligence. So our collection project um, uh, gathers the most innovative initiatives in this uh, field and it's coming soon, so we are very excited about that too. To conclude, I want to share with you this image. I made it in 1997, it was very far away from Web3 but still it was questioning the inflation of images. And I think today we have to be careful, we still have to be demanding and to find a balance in terms of impact on our brains, on our behaviors, and on the planet, of course. So to you all that I thank a few minutes ago, don't disappoint me. Uh, don't forget that we have a lot of work to do, great work, and well, we have to, to think about a better world, so uh, everything depends on the, on the way that will define the framework and the objectives. So don't forget that hard doesn't stand mediocrity, and well, let's be at the right place, the right moment, together. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>